Alright, hello everyone, Maji here, what is going on? I'm just bringing you in this video the patch notes rundown for the game update of March the 12th, 2013. First up, under a brand new category called Hotfixes, we have Casting Magic Spells with a player's offhand weapon in PvP no longer overrides the main hand spell. Slayer Experience has been restored to the original Slayer Experience rate for boss creatures. An option has been added to Mimstics to toggle off the gaining of experience when catching butterflies. Trying to deselect a clear option on the customization interface no longer disconnects the player. Pinning a construction challenge without a player on house no longer causes the player to disconnect. Magic offhand weapons will now deal the appropriate level of damage when using abilities. Next, under the graphical category. The artisan's torso no longer makes male characters' hands stretch. An animation issue when performing the Dragon Breath ability when an unsheathed staff equipped has been fixed. The stretching issues with the vampire juvenites has been corrected. Mackers should now walk correctly and a little faster. Some issues with the character's face during the Blood Pact have been fixed. The trees of Draenor Manor have been returned to their previous, more malicious appearance. The animation for activating the baby troll has been changed due to timing issues. An issue preventing players from overriding the crystal bow with the firebrand bow cosmetic override has now been fixed. Ceradominist Magister's chat heads now appear correctly in the combat interface. The skull necklace inventory icon has been tweaked. The snow at the God Wars underground entrance no longer covers items when they are dropped. Next, under the Quest Challenges and Achievements category, a grammatical error in some chat during the Death Plateau quest has been corrected. You can now use a pickaxe from your inventory or the one from your tool belt to clear the rubble during the In Aid of Maraku quest. The Dress to Impress task now lists the correct defense level to wear the armor. Players can no longer select more than one answer per question in the map puzzle during the World Wakes quest. Construction challenges that offer hints now direct the player to their player own house location. Next, finally under the skills and minigames category, the skill advance guide for cooking now lists the rabbit sandwich. In player own ports, the percentage based traits should now work correctly. An issue with navigating the world and captain's log simultaneously in player own ports has been fixed. Players are no longer awarded more captain rerolls than they can store in player on ports. Players are once again able to get visiting adventure rerolls once in player on ports. Combining vials into flask will now give you an option of how many to combine at a time rather than one per click. You can once again cook the big bass, swordfish, and shark if you don't want to have them stuffed. The Herblore Skill Advance Guide now lists the correct ingredients for extreme ranging and magic potions. The Magic Potion Daily Challenge has been updated to reflect the changes made to the Herblore skill. Next, under the Combat category, the level requirements for Balmung have been updated. The Robes of Subjugation now have the correct level requirement listed in the Defense Skill Advance Guide. Players can now defeat the Joker Champion with magic. Plague Frogs no longer give double experience. Players should no longer get stuck in the combat tutorial. Black Bolts can now be used with the Black Crossbow. Recently added weapons have had their accuracy value fixed. Aviancy can now be attacked with magic again. And finally, under the very, very short other category this time, the Teleport Other Offer interface has been graphically updated. The game will now remember your preferred resolution for full screen mode across sessions, which is a very good thing, I'm glad they added that. An issue on the notice board quest tab when you click on a long quest, scroll, then click on another quest has been fixed. An issue with desert tasks and completionist cape not appearing on the notice board has been fixed. So as always, if you want to read this full rundown yourself, please check out the quick find code down in the video description of the video. Hit the like button below the video if you have liked it. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the top of the screen. Feel free to check out one of the other two recent videos listed on the screen and follow me on my social networking links off to the left. 
and I must thank you all for watching, and I will see you next week with the next Patch Notes Rundown.